Here, I have a standard vehicle path with default display settings. I can enhance the appearance of the path using a number of features. Firstly, I can use the Place Vehicle feature. By selecting the vehicle path, I can now insert vehicle outlines at certain important positions along the path. When I'm done, I right click to finish. If I wish to delete one of these vehicle outlines, I can use the Delete Vehicle feature and click within one of the vehicle outlines. In the Properties window, you can set up how your vehicle paths look in your drawing. You can set the general settings, how the vehicle outlines in your path look, vehicle envelope settings, and customize any hatchings associated with your chosen envelope. There are also 3D simulation settings and the settings for the conflict analysis and specification of the obstacle layer. First, I will apply a clearance envelope on my vehicle path. To do this, I will click the body clearance, choose a color, select max width, and set the offset distance to half a meter. I will then click update and select the vehicle path to apply it to the vehicle path. If I now go to the hatchings, I can select the vehicle envelope to apply a hatching to, and I will do this to the vehicle body. I will choose a color of red, and then I can choose the hatching type from a long list available here. I will choose a solid red color, select update, and select the vehicle path. carry out a visibility check, click on the sight lines. As this is a 2D drawing, we will choose horizontal alignment for 2D turn simulations. Select my vehicle path, and now I can set up the analysis as required for either stopping sight distance or line of sight. I can choose the distance and the interval distance. I can also adjust the color. To insert a vehicle profile into your drawing, you have the choice of either using the current vehicle or selecting a vehicle path that's in your drawing. Here, I'm going to select this vehicle path with the FTA 2016 Arctic and place that vehicle profile within my drawing. To insert the turn template, I'll select Generate Template. Now, I can choose the angles, sweep angles for which I wish to display. You choose the which type of turn that you want to do. Specify the layer to place the template on and you can customize the drawer options. Click place to insert into the drawing. We also have the option of generating a grade template. You can specify the starting grade if you wish. Click place and we can visualize the maximum grading changes that vehicle can drive through.